we as a profession, we're not doing a good job. Mathematicians are bad communicators. There's always this rationale of saying, oh, what I'm doing is too difficult for you to understand. Okay. So when I was on, on national public radio with Michelle Martin, she told me, the worst people to interview are mathematicians. They answer questions, like for example, I will ask them, why, why is what you're doing important? And they'll go, well, there's 10 different reasons. Well, can't you narrow it down? Well, it could be any one of them, okay? Or they'll answer questions, yes, no, and won't lead. So she said, mathematicians are terrible to interview. They don't know how to communicate why what they're doing is important. But you're different. And we talked about multiple sclerosis. We talked about everything. And she came up and she hugged me at the end. And she said, you really can pass for not being a mathematician, which is a compliment. But often, that's just the start of the path. We have to communicate mathematics. Since I loved mathematics when I was five years old, six years old, okay, I said, I need to show our youth that loving mathematics isn't something they should be embarrassed about. It is something they can be proud of, and it can help you in your life. Okay? My sister uh, has a math degree, and yes, she's a lawyer, okay? and, and, and she said that that training helped her. So I wanted to promote math to youth, especially to underrepresented youth. You know, if you go to the corner, let's say in Houston, and you see a bunch of young people, and I'm talking about underrepresented minorities, and you say, how would you like to be a mathematician? You know, let's say, I'm a normal human being. Why would I do something like that? I want to be a singer, I want to be a football player, I want to be a baseball player. But it is so difficult in this country to convince the youth that math is a viable option and an important option for us. Okay. Those are what's called constraint qualifiers. So do we learn in this country the importance of science or do we teach it to our minority children? No. They see on TV the importance of entertainment, the importance of sports. Okay. Occasionally you're going to say, yeah, doctor, lawyer. Scientist? Who wants to be a scientist? So I felt a part of my job was to teach people you can enjoy it, it can be rewarding, it can be fun, and you can do it.